Hi, this is Paul from wave5trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 29th of June. Uh, I take one of the signals from our Wave5 Trade Scanners membership area and set it up for you. Very briefly in our members area, our members get the option to look for long fifth wave trades, short fifth wave trades, stochastic longs, stochastic shorts. I'm going to talk about uh, long potential fifth wave trades. The fifth wave is the highest probability in an Elliott wave sequence, so that's uh, the, the highest probability move in a trend. Uh, on the members side for the long fifth wave trades, we simply click on the image on each day and we download the spreadsheet for potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily and the 60 minute time frame. Let's have a look at what the spreadsheet looks like today. Obviously, after quite a uh, sustained pullback this week, a uh, bit of a bottoming out, we've got some potential longs on the daily time frame setting up here quite a lot. This is today's time, uh, spreadsheet for the daily. There's also weekly and 60 minute potential long fifth wave trades as well. So I've chosen just one of these just to set up on the chart and see where we are. So I've chosen DRH for a potential long. Uh, first of all, let me talk about the isolation. For those that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we're isolating down the lows here around about the 2nd of March. Uh, then our automated Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for Wave 5 Trade. This is the Ninja Trader version, by the way. Ninja Trader NT8 is also available for TradeStation, Multicharts, and the Think or Swim platform. Um, our Elliott Wave count starts automatically, one, two, three. And then the fourth wave, we are here. We got a new low yesterday. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but this is where we are right now in this trend. And we're looking to trade that fifth wave. So let's just zoom in a little bit there. Okay, so first of all, the filters for the scanners membership three main filters we've got a wave four pullback and that's pulled back into one of our automated probability zones finding support in this green zone where it is right now gives it an 85 percent probability it's going to go on make that new wave five high intraoid automated target zones in blue up here around about 1330. the second part of the filtration for the scanners is the 535 oscillator now this needs to pull back between 90 and 140 percent as you can see in this case it has done so and then finally the stochastic we've got the false breakout dots on the on the bot on the uh, overbought zone here indicating it's a strong bullish uh, momentum now it's pulled back against those false breakout dots it, the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend so with those three filters initially gets us the setup and then we just need to look for the entry. Before I go through the entry, I just want to take a note of the volume here. Quite a spike in volume yesterday and a rejection of those new lows uh, and close near the high. Green doji there. When we get a rejection of lows like that with higher volume, that's a really good sign that we're going to uh, have a bit of a bullish move. Yes, we need confirmation day today. Uh, the wave four on the indicator suite will move to this new low when the market's open today. So I've set the trailing, the stop loss, sorry, at 11.95 below this yesterday's low. The entry is 12.45. So this is outside the 6.4 moving average high, which is part of our Elliott Wave indicator suite, which gives us a starting point for entry strategies. But also, obviously, we need to go above this pivot point here because this is a price in which traders decided that they didn't want to go any higher and it came back down. So we need to be above there. So 12.45 is the entry long for DRH on the daily time frame. And then the target's around about 13.30. So as you can see there with that quite conservative entry strategy there, we still have a good risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into that target zone at 13.30 there. Obviously this all depends on today that we get confirmation move, we've got a higher high, higher low away from yesterday's low. But good sign always for those members uh, that have the indicator suite and, and members are also the members of the signal service. Don't forget, look for those rejections with higher volume. They're always a good sign on those wave fours. You just need that confirmation candle afterwards, the higher high, higher low, 
and we look like it's going to be a really good trade there. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and a great weekend, and I'll speak to you all on Monday.